Alright guys, how's it going? So I was helping a user out today and I thought, I might as well make this a tutorial. <laughs> so I'm actually going to show you how to set up a quick fur and we'll take a look at the principal hair shader. Very basic stuff to be honest. Now we'll spin the default cube of mystery. Ooh. I'm actually going to use the cube to place the fur on. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is, I'm going to come to the modifier, I'm going to add in a subdivision modifier. And this means it just gives the topology a little bit more to work with. So I'll put the viewport up to something like 3, and I'll hit apply. The next thing I'll do is I'll add in a quick bevel. I kind of want to bevel these edges a little bit. So I'll probably come down to something like 0 0.05. Ah, that should be fine. And I'll add a couple of segments in. And I get this kind of nice rounded shape. And we have our basic shape. Now the next thing I need is a Muslim background. It's actually a photography background. So I'm going to go to add, I'll add in a plane, I'll press 1 in the numpad and I'll just put this slightly under the object and I'll press S to scale it up. The next thing I'll do is I'll tab into edit mode. I'll press 2, I'll select the edges and all I'm going to do here is extrude this edge up. I'll then select this edge, come to the bevel tool and I'll do a quick bevel. I'll come down to the dialog on the left hand side and I'll put the segments up. And all I'm doing is making a photography background here, very basic stuff to be honest. And I'll quickly jump into object mode. I'll right click and I'll shade the smoothing. So we have our basic setup. Now the thing with render on here is, you generally need a nice setup and you need a nice lighting rig. So I'm actually using an HDRI image, so if you come to shading, go into the world, all I've done is added in an environment HDRI. And I think it was HDR Haven, so you can easily download this file. So I'll quickly jump back into layout and I'll select the default cube. And what I'm going to do here is, I'll come to object and you can see here, quick effects. I'm going to add in quick fur and that'll give me a nice basic kind of working space. I'll then come to the particle settings on the right and I'll put the number up. Now, depending on your system, you can push this right up. So I'm actually going to push it up to something like 10,000. Why not? We'll go crazy. And that gives me a nice particle base. Now you can see the way I'm kind of getting the normal fall off in terms of the bevel. So I'm actually going to kind of tweak this a little bit. So I'm going to kind of tweak the settings here. I'll come to source and you can see that the distribution is on jittered. But you can also see the even distribution is ticked. So I'm actually going to take that off. And that just kind of breaks the render up just that little bit. Now you can play around with the jitter amount if you really want. We kind of get a little bit more of a unique flow. And we can also come down to children. Now. I could put the display amount up, but I'm not going to. The render amount is set 100, you could probably maybe put this up to 200. Now these are things you just kind of need to get a feel from. It's totally up to yourself. Now one thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put the hair length up. So it's at 0 0.1 meters, I'll make that 0 0.2. That'll give me a little bit more length. So play around with these settings, start to mess around. You have things like parting and clumping and roughness and things like this, but I'm not going to show you that. What I'm actually going to show you is the particle edit mode. Now one thing you need to keep in mind is, once you go into particle edit mode, it kind of locks down the particles, so you can't tweak these settings afterwards. So just keep that in the back of your mind. And you can see here exactly what my particles are doing. Now the first thing I generally do is I come into add, and I just start adding random particles in. It just kind of breaks up the render a little bit, and it's a bit more unique in terms. Now the display amount is set low, this is why you're kind of seeing a staggered amount. So the next thing I'll do is I'll come to the length and I'll just start adding in a little bit of length to the hairs and I'll kind of do this random them. I'm not being a perfectionist here at the moment. And you also have other tools like the comb tool, the comb tool is great, you can easily comb fur very easily. Like I says, I'm just being a little bit rough here and that'll do. I'll quickly jump into object mode, you can see here what it's doing. Now if I come into the render viewport, it's a bit blown out, it's a bit hard to see at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the material settings for the fur. And you can see here, use nodes. I'm going to click on use nodes. And I'm going to change the principal shader to the principal hair shader. Now we have options here and you can easily jump into the shading tab and you can start messing around. But I'm going to change the colour to something like an orange. And that's pretty much how you can use quick fur in the principal hair shader. Now I'm going to add some eyes and I'm going to play around with some of the settings. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it'll cost you absolutely nothing. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Peace.